Hi everyone! So this is my first live stream. Wow, I have a lot of people watching already. So nice. Can you guys hear me? Is the music too loud? Is it okay? Great. So Nice. Thank, thanks everyone for being here. Mr. Keeper, Jennifer, Diane, Janet, Hannah, Rafael. Thank you everyone. So let's start the event. Let me pause the chat. And let's see what we have. So I hope you guys have already played a lot that you guys have up front in the, the event and let's see what we have already. First thing that we need to do is check the map and we can see already there is a cloud key over there that is very easy to get, it's going to be this flower. And first thing that I'm going to look are for the bone piles, let me see if I can find any close to us. So, I can't see any of them so close. For this event, I'm going to stream, I don't know, maybe about one hour, one hour and a half, maybe two hours. And after that, we can continue tomorrow. I will not be doing a speedrun because I think it's not something that you guys want to see or do you guys want to, to see a speedrun? Is it better the music now? Behind the cloud there is a pile. Good. So let me start opening this one and see it behind. So over here we already have another cloud key. Sometimes the left sense goes to the other side. I don't want to buy anything, but for sure I want the Sad Dragon level 3. So let's open the second cloud, cloud key. Oh, boom. Okay, we will get there. Uh, let's see, here it is the nest. The golden capsule that we are going to use for the the trick at the end of the game to reach all the points, the guy statue. Once I had a guy statue cloud key, it was the level one and I, for mistake, I have merged them and I had to play the event all over again. So here's going to be another cloud key, probably very easy to get from this kind of chain. Yeah, so we can start already making the first dragon, so we can let it harvest. I don't care much for uh, two merges or three merges in the beginning. All I want to do is clean some map and get a lot of the lapis sense so we can reach the other dragon. And we need also to find it. He's going to be one, two, Seth X. And the third one usually are close to this kind of objects. We will find it. Oh, it's this one that is close to this one. Oh, here is the third one. Very easy to get them. So let's start opening some 
map space. As I told you guys, I don't, don't care much for two or three merges in the beginning because all we want is to open some space. Only thing that I want to do is to make five merges with this one so we can reach as fast as possible for the next life flower. That's going to be the level three. I don't know if you guys know, but the level three, five and seven, they are three times faster to harvest in the previous one. So you always want to, before you go to a level four, you want to be sure that you can get at least two of the level five because it's not worth to harvest for the level four. And if it's your first time playing, of course, you want to uh, do five merges because you have the quest, merge five of anything, but we will reach there when you start making some mass merges and harvest a lot of them, and it's not going to be a problem. And harvest twin life flower, this is going to be our second objective uh, after we heal a lot of the map and heal all the land. When we heal a big part of the land already, we are going to start getting some capsules. So this one, also we want to make a 5 merge. Don't do close merge like I did, because sometimes it auto merges, it make a chain merge. So let me get this one over here. Hey Jules, hey Zukira, thanks for joining. Hi Colleen. Hey Sail. Sail? Is that right how I I pronouncing? Since it's my first time, uh, hey Carol, my first time streaming, I am not used to read the chat and also to live stream, so I'm sorry if I miss something. Here, let's make another five. Another trick that is always good to, to do in the beginning, you make a, a five merge like this one, and then you prepare for a, a combo merge. It gives you combo bonus and it's going to be easier to Heal some, some part of the map that you are looking for. The higher the combo, more healing power you receive. So you can keep these ones and then bring them into, into a part of the land that is not easy to reach. For example, this one is already 50. That one is 50 also, but it seems that one of them is going to be easier to, to reach. Probably this one. And then with this, you can start healing the the map over there, so let's keep going on this, let's see if we can make another 5 merge already, this is going to be another one that is going to help, now we can get the capsule, good. This kind of capsule you cannot use the exploit for infinite rewards, but the ones that you find in the map you always can do it. It always have three level three points inside, so if you need to reach the next quest of this one uh, faster, you can do it. So let's do already this five merge so we can get these flowers. I never get these special offers because I don't think it's worth it because you can't take it to, to your camp or something like that. But this is not even a special object. So let's trash it already. Let's see what else we can get. Let's make more combo merges. So this is going to be an even better combo merge. And it's going to be a different color, if I'm not mistaken, around it, pretty soon. Yes. So here we can see that they have different healing power. I'm not sure how much is it, but we can test it, so let's see. 
seems this one got like something like five and this one got a little bit more let me see what else we can do we can start also heal this part of the the map so we can get more of the the space so we can do mass merges Hi Terry, hi Cindy, hard hard this Hi Loopy Hi Neil Thanks everyone for joining Let me start opening a little bit more over here also Hi to chick chick That's one point that I didn't want to collect, I wanted to move it. <laughs> Happen sometimes. Hi Hannah, hi Jody. This part is kind of boring because you all you need to do is harvest until you get the next dragon and you also need to wait until you get a bone, bone pile Hi Teresa We just got the first turn that is heal the land and for this one you can do a kind of reroll of this turn if you want to get the the chest trick it's very difficult to get the chest from it from it but if you keep rerolling you can get the chest and once you get the level 2 chest you can do the exploit also you will get points inside you will get some of these Life Orb level 3 Let's make a red F5 merge over here 5 merge to get another one of this It's very difficult to make some kind of merge that is going to prevent you to finish the game and I also can tell you guys that if you get some kind of deadland, the deadland really does not exist. I have made a few, few tests already and if he is saying to you that you must do a merge of it, you don't need, you need only to get a big healing power, one of the level 7 can heal a super deadland. Of course, you, if you have two of them, you need two of the level 7, so that land really don't, does not exist in Merge Dragons.
Oi, Eliette. So we have a Brazilian here also. Nice. Are you Brazilian, Eliette? I know that Rafael is Brazilian also. Let's see how much shining power we will get from this chain merge. This one it was the last one. If I'm not mistaken, sometimes it has about 50 of the healing power. Let's see if this one. Yes. Oh no, it's not 50. It's about 20, I think. But if you can do a even higher level of the chain merge, you can get even more of the healing power. Let me launch this one over here to reach over there and heal more land. So we have already one of the Anubis Dragon Egg. I will try to reach that one also. 10, 10 and 50. I will need more than this, I think, but we can also open that already so we can open a little bit more of the map. Make some merges to heal more land. Good, we can reach that. I will use this, not you. Excuse me, sir. You go back to the work. Thank you. I will use this one. I don't care, as I told you, to make two merges because it's going to be very easy to get points after. So here we just got the second egg. And now we will need to keep doing the trick for the combo bonus so we can reach that part of the land and reach the next one. So another tip, it's uh, if you can real heal this one or this one or this or this, it's going to be easy to, to reach that one next. So for now this is going to be the easiest one. We only need nine more healing power. Yes, new. I am Brazilian. This is my English not so good, but if you if you guys have any kind of doubt of what I'm saying, uh, you can ask me again in the chat, and I will try to to explain what I mean. Oh, that was not what I wanted. Rawr. Sorry for my. Rawr. Every time that I do some kind of mistake, it is the, the way that I express myself. Hey, Vitor, thank you. Wow, South Africa, nice. And also a new from Guyanese. Nice. Got a lot, a lot of different parts of the world here. Let's see if we can reach now. I think we can. A little bit more. And there we go. Now we can do that trick. We just need to get one of these. Over there, open the space. And now we can bring the other two eggs. So, this is a nice trick to get faster to the next dragon. This way you can harvest from two flowers instead of one. Tough Chick from Trinidad and Tobago, Diane is from America. Uh, 
Uh, and when we do this kind of chain merge over here, let me show you. This is going to be one chain merge. And this healing power is going to be not so big. Let me see if I can see how, how much it's going to heal. Two, three, four. I think it, it's healed four. And if you can make a bigger chain, like two, two times, it's going to be each time a bubble with a higher healing power. Now the next step is going to reach for the next flower That is going to be the twin life flower, where is it? This one So I'm going to start opening a lot of space I'm going to check everything that we can make a merge Let me see, over here Let me take this one As I told you guys, always try to make a 5 merge with these ones over here we have another 5 merge, we can open more space, be careful to not bring the flower to the wrong side. So here we have 5, let's crush this one, let me bring this object right there. I have been there in Amazonas about one year and a half back. It's a very nice place. Went on a vacation with my family. If you also let me give another tip for you guys, if you want to do some kind of healing that is these ones, you can always bubble it. Some of you have asked me how I was able to put more than three objects side by side. So let me show you guys how this, this can be done. You can bubble it by pretending to merge an object. And when you hit the, you don't let it go, the object, you hit the home button and you go to the world map. And then you return to, to the event. And the object is going to be bubbling. You can put an object over here so it will be in the place that you want. And if you put one more over there, you have already four. And then you just need to, to put another one there. So it's going to be healed two of 50 spaces. Let's try it. Let's make one more. Yes, and it's more in consecutive merge that make higher level healing orbs. So let's bring this one here, and now we can make a 5 more merge over there and heal 100 healing power. So let's do that. Thanks Jenny! Let me see what else I can bring. This one is very easy to, to heal. We can make this merge over here. This map is kind of good for mass merges because it's connected. It's not connected over here already, but we and also not here. But it will be very easy to connect. So over there, you always now want to find the 50 ones. Let me just merge this one out. So that's three, four, and another one. Five. Then we can 
reach that one. Now we can use the herds that are here. <laughs> Not this one. And we can keep going for all the map. More space better. These ones are 50s also, so they are good for healing. Let's see if we have another one of that. Yes, we do. Now we can use this one. Sometimes you want to keep some of them because you might find like this. Spaces over here that you can make five merges. But I am going to let me check if I'm close to... Yeah, I'm... Uh, almost close to the twin light flower, so I'm starting to do it so I can harvest faster. Uh, let's check. If you are not doing the bone exploit, you can use the the seeds to make a a tree farm. Let me bring these ones there. Sometimes you can also find in the capsules. And the event quest starts some of the life flower sprouts. Over here we can make this merge. Open more space. Over here also. Here I'm going to make a tree merge. Because I'm not going to use the tree farm. Let me check. These are fours and tens. I think I can launch one of these to open a little bit more space. Yes, so these are tens also. These are fifties. So we can use these, these and these. And now we have another one, blue life flower over here, that's going to help us. So we are going to have then the level 4, that is not so fast to harvest. So I'm not sure if you want to, to do that already. Let's check if we can reach for the next one faster. We have more of that object. So here we have these two. We can open these. Here are 50s. So we can bring one of these if we have. And we don't have it so easy, but we have over here. Let me bring this one. Heal a little bit more. And now we have another 5 merge. And here we have another 5 merge. Now we can get this. This one also we need to, uh, to heal. Let's check. We need these flowers. Over there we have 4 now. And that's 5. Let's trash this one. And here we can make a tree merge. We have another one of these. Pretty soon we will be able to find some of the bone piles. These are tents. 
over here we don't have any so I want to bring this close to the 50s how much are these? far and far so it's going to be easy to, to do it let me make a mass merge here already and get some of the combo bonus and we can make a 10 merge over there but we can also make a, a 3 merge here let's bring 3 more and then we can make a, another merge and heal a lot of the map oh, yeah nice huh <laughs> oh my god don't laugh at me at me I'm nervous because of the live stream. Hi Laura, so good to have you here. So let's launch one of this one. And now we can get this to heal another 100 and it's going to be able to, to heal another 50 over there. So you always need to pay attention so you can find the objects that are going to help you better. Here there is one of the bone pile. I will be able to do the trick to show you guys how it works. Let me see. I have this and this one. Let's open a little bit more space. So here we have one, two. Here we have tens. One that is 50 over there. That one is 50 also. Let me bring these ones here. Hey, Toya Toya! Toy Toya! So now we have four and five. Another one to trash. And we can start making the next level of the flower. There we go. Let me bring it down. Do we know where is it? And these parts over here you always want to let it connect. So when you do the mass merge, they stay connected. So there we have already two and we have four of these ones we are closer now hi Samantha thank you for being here let me see if I can find a better place to merge this this one over there we are only going to have the green one and will be better if I could get these two. So we can make here also a 5 merge. And now we have 10s and 50s. Do we, do we have another green one? This one is 10 also. So let's get one of these. Let's try to, to heal this one. And then we try to heal that part. Almost. There we go, nice. So now we can put it over there. And get this one to make another 5 merge.
Have a great day of work, Samantha. Thank you for being here. Let me start making some more merges. And we, I think we can try to reach for the bone pies already, so we can do the bone pie trick to, to reach the twin life flower. So let me make this five merge. Let me move the objects already to the side, so they don't get in the way. Always be careful when you are moving some objects so you don't merge them by accident. Let me see if I can reach a green one so I can be sure that I'm going to heal that part. Let's make a chain merge over here with a higher level. That's two, three, four, five, four and five. How do you pronounce Biofarox? It depends if you are trying to pronounce it in English or in Brazilian language, Portuguese. If you are going to say in Portuguese, it will be easy for me to say Belferox. But in English, I think it's going to be like Belferox. But you guys can tell me better because I'm, I'm not American, you know? I don't speak the proper language always. So let's make this chain merge and let's try to reach the bones now. I think it's going to be more than enough. <laughs> Come on, yeah, thank you. Now before I get the bones, I need to be careful and start asking the dragons for, for them to harvest. And always be careful because they will Go there and harvest the bones. Let me just open this too. Now we are going to look for a place that we can easily tap the bone. While we ask, we can also see that we can make some merges over there. Always keep an eye on your dragons. Let me see, we need this. I will also show you guys, this capsule was the one that we've got from the map. Right? And that one can be used for the exploit. So we will put this one, I don't know, maybe... I don't want them to be in front of the, the other objects 
and block it. Let me put it over here. Let me see what else we can do for this. We can make this merge. Good. Let me move these bonfires close to my eyes. So I know for sure that I need to travel longer to to harvest. This is going to be the cloud key that is down over here. Let's see if we can get it. And maybe we have something else interesting be behind that. Let me move this. Mm, this one. much it's 50 also so maybe it's better to get the bones than the cloud key I think but we can try to get both yeah of course it's not going to be where I want it mere dragons always do that for us especially when we are trying to reach the last cloud keys it heals only a part of that and then it heals everything else So let me do, let me see, we have one here, one here that's going to be a lot of harvest, this one is small, so it's not going to be so many harvesting and the chance for getting the bone pines are not going to be so great, here we have two, but there are 50s, 500, 500, and 500 over there, wow, it's going to be very difficult to get the bones. Over there, let me see if over here we have something. Seems not so, maybe we should reach for here. Did anyone already open that cloud key? This one? Does it have a bone pile behind? Let's make a pipe merge, open more space. Thanks, Ardi. Let me see how much is this one, 256. It's not going to be enough for, for opening that, that plants over there. Maybe one of them over here, that is 50. Yeah, we can, maybe if we are luck, we can get a bone pile over there, and the trick will be faster. Let's check. The chance is to get a life flower sprout instead of a bone pile, but maybe if we are luck. No, we aren't. That's okay. Let's keep filling the the map. Let me see if there is anything else that we can do over there. 500, 500, 500. Not much, so we did open a space over there. Oh, it's also 500. So here is 50, 50. Let me open this space over here so it's easier to fill the map with the bone tricks. Let's fill it faster now. There are some tips when you are harvesting for this kind of flowers 
and you want to watch a movie or something like that, you just maximize over here and you lock it and if you put your sound on you are going to be very fast to to harvest it but since i have some music now at my phone to for the live stream i can't hear them harvesting but you can do that and you also always want to have the flowers here in the low part because or else you are going to be in front of the flower every time Bilferox is a junction of myth of the Bilferis Lobo and Bilwolf. It's a nickname that I got when I was very young. So here we have now the map filled. As you can see, the dragons are start to, to bubbling everything. And now we can do the bone pie, bone pie trick. So to do that, you always need to think this. This kind of bone pies, they have three of the bones inside. And when you want to start the trick, I can do it already. Can I start? I can start it. But if you are not sure if you, are, if you have touched it or not, you always go outside to the world map. That is faster than the camp. Now you go, you can save also to the to your cloud, you can click connect and save your progress because sometimes you can make some kind of mistake and you want to roll back. Since I have only one of the bone pile, it's good to, to have a good save. So you choose the second option, no keep my current game, yes upload and upload now. Okay. Now, also, if you by any chance have a red exclamation in the cloud, it means that it was not saved. And I will show you, like this one, there is a very easy way to force the cloud save. You just click at the second icon, that is the gear, and just click OK. You don't need to change anything, and click OK. It's going to force the cloud to save. Before I learned that, I did it by the accident. I used to go inside my camp that take uh, like two minutes because of the amount of objects that I have. I used to play a level or close the game and open it again. So now I just know that it, you just need to click at the gear and click OK. So now you disconnect from the cloud. And always keep in mind that you need to do this at your own risk because sometimes you can get uh, some kind of problem. I, I always say in my videos that I never have a, have a problem with that, but it's always nice to, to say that you need to do it at your own risk, right? So now we go inside the event again. And we are going to open two spaces but always keep in mind you can touch this like like this these hearts and because sometimes the the dragons can harvest something and then the bone pile is going to disappear you open two spaces and touch it the bone pile two times three times to be sure that it's going to spawn both of them and one of the the healing power open it over here sometimes you need to pay attention because if the it hits this part it's going to be an open space so now that we have done that we go outside to the world map and then just go inside the event again And now you can open once again two spaces. Always be sure that your dragons are carrying something because they love to harvest the bones. So let's open two more spaces and touch very fast the bone pile. And we have now four of the bones and usually we have only three of them. The same kind of trick you can do with this capsule there. Where did I put? Over here, this one was the one that was in the map. And that one, 
is the one that we've got from the the time one that is over here oh not here here and this one does not work for reroll for exploit it always have the same object and always the same quantity but this one that we've got from from the map is going to have three of the level three objects inside so we can open two spaces and touch it and we have two of the level 3, I don't want to open 3 spaces or we are going to lose our capsule. And once again, we can go to the world map. And then we go to the event. And we can do the bone trick touch several times and once again this capsule this is going to be very easy to help when you need to to get the higher object so let's see how it will be way better if we had like five ten or even more of the bone piles but right now all you need is to reach for the level five the twin life flower then we are going to make some of the mass merges hey Toshik so I can tell, tell you that hey everyone I'm Bilferox and I'm going to teach you some awesome tricks <laughs> oh as you guys can see by some kind of mistake I did uh, the bone pile is gone and this is exactly why we need to have the cloud save. You see, I just lost my lost my my bone piles. Good thing that I only had done it three times, so it's very fast. We can do it in about I don't know less than one minute to get everything back. So what you need to do now, you click at the cloud when you do that kind of mistake. And you sh now, since we do do some kind of mistake, you choose the first option. Yes, hit rip this cloud save. Yes, use the cloud and continue. Thanks Jenny, I hope I can teach everyone well. So now that we got our data back, don't forget to disconnect from the cloud again, because if you do the, the mistake again, you can always go back. So let's disconnect, okay. And the bone piles are going to be there again. See? And once you have done it, I don't know, maybe 10, 20 times, you can save to the cloud and connect again. So let's do it very fast now. Let's fill one, one time the, the map. I think one time is more than enough to, to get a twin life flower. If you have a better phone than mine, you are going to see that for you it's going to be even faster. My mobile will have too, too many uh, things inside. It has a low low memory. So as soon as I as possible, I'm, I'm going to buy a new one. And then I will be able to do even better videos. Now instead of just harvesting that it takes a long time to harvest the, the other flowers and wait until your your trees spawn enough to to get you the twin life flower, you can do this trick. It's going to be 
<laughs> That's your, my, my opinion? In the other event that we had, it was easier to get the Twin Life Flower because we had two bone piles in the beginning. So, as you guys can see, I'm being so fast that the dragons are not even moving. They are always carrying something and you need to pay attention on that. Another trick that you can do is when you are almost feeling the part that you need to go to another place and you can reach, cannot reach the bone piles and the, the life essence, you can just open one space that, where you want the bone piles to be and then open another heart, another life essence and start it again. So remember to open, you can open two and move the bones where you have opened. For example, let's say that I want my bone piles over here in the up part so i just open these two spaces i move the bone pile and touch the bone pile so let's start doing over here and if you have more than one bone pile you can put one in each place And if you want to do this kind of event in a speedrun, you can uh, use the Prism Flower. It's going to be way faster. I didn't already. I didn't configure yet the member part. <laughs> Sorry for that. I'm still a new YouTuber. I will be doing a lot of mistakes or, yeah, until I get everything done right. But I promise this next two days I'm going to reach. Maybe I can do it after I finish this live stream. I can find it and I will be doing another live stream tomorrow to finish this event. Let's see how fast we can do it without the speedrun. I think it's going to take about 7-8 hours not doing a speedrun. When you do a speedrun you can do it in about 5 hours, 6 hours. And also, if you are going to do the Prism Flower, three, uh, Prism Flower Speed One, when you just before you do, you get the wonder that give you the nest. You need, you can save to the cloud, and before you do the the wonder, and then you disconnect. Then you make the wonder, and you check if you are going to get the nest. If you don't get the nest, you can roll back and change the objects that are inside. So, so you, if I'm not mistaken, you can get about seven objects in the wonder and you can do also one touch and get one nest and then go outside the map, save the, to the cloud, disconnect, go once again and then you can go inside and you can tap it and if you want to get only nests you can do that. Of course it's going to be uh, 
a lot of rerolls because the nest chances are lower, but you can get like seven nests to to do that trick. And for seven nests, for sure you're going to have more than ten dragons. And if you are going to have a lot of dragons, you always want the dragons to harvest the same kind of flower. And also the uneven numbers, as I told in the beginning of the stream, you always want them to harvest for the level 3, 5, 7, and so on, because they are three times faster to harvest. Welcome back, Sale. Let me check my dragons. They are still good. They are still carrying something. The moon dragons are really good. That trick that I have found thanks to Laura, it's a really game changer. So, if you, anyone is asking who is Laura of the technique of the infinite rewards, you guys can find her in the chat. Say hi, Laura. And we all need to thank you for the, the infinite exploit. Come on, Lara, say hi in the chat so everyone know who you are. Don't be shy. There you go. You can get the Pegasus chest for doing the trick, also a lot of other dragons like the Pegasus, the Butterfly, the Green Egg, the Grass Egg, but you can also get the, the Nest uh, or the Eggs that are going to be the Sapphire Mystery Egg and the Tencent Mystery Egg and also Ruby Fire Mystery Egg that is going to give you a lot of different Dragons at the same time, it's going to be cheaper to, to get all this chain with only one, one chest. You can do the trick with the chest level 2, but it's going to... <coughs> Sorry. It's going to take a lot of time, because it's going to be like 4 or 5 different dragons. And if you don't have gems to, to do that, I have some videos teaching how to get one of the Dragon Purple Star per chalice. And also you can watch how to time forward to get more chalices. You can also see the videos where I teach how to maximize the small Dragon Star for extra gems. And also you can maximize the big Purple Star to get even more gems. Each 100 of the Dragon Stars, you can get 500 more of the gems. And they are very important because some things at the game you can only get with gems. Like for example, if you are going to work at your uh, topiaries, as I want to do, you need gems. If you want to work at your Zen temples to get the wonder, also, you need gems, uh, the artifact wonder that we had once also required gems. I think this one requires almost 2000 gems to get the wonder.
Hey BG, nice! You already got the Moon, the Winter, the Midas, the Life, Wise Dragon using the Infiniteness trick. So the Life Dragon also is good to, to have it, but the only problem is that the Life Dragon have a random number of objects inside when you are doing the level 2. Sometimes it has like uh, 3 eggs, sometimes 4, 5, 6 and 7. It's not always the same number like the other chests that always have 4 eggs inside. So you need to do a lot more of the, the game save. Or you can do it always for 2 eggs. That is going to take a lot more of the time. And if you are going for only the normal dragons, you don't need to do the infinite trick of the eggs. You can all you can just use the the time travel to get the 12 and 24 hours chest. Now that I have done a lot of the map, it's a good thing to save it before I do some kind of mistake. So, what do we do? And if you in doubt, if you have touched the pond piles or not, always go outside the map. It's always better to be sure than, than lose it. So let's hit connect. And now this time we are going to choose the second option. No keep my current game. Yes, upload and upload now. Okay, let's wait until it saves our data. Now, once again, there we got the red exclamation in the cloud. We just click the gear and click OK to first the save. Hey Cindy, have you watched the videos to get the, the Dragon Stars? I have posted at the description the link for this video also. Now that we have, now we can disconnect and keep doing the trick. If we do some kind of mistake, it's not going to lose everything. Hey Terry, <laughs> you goofed at the chest trick. You did you save it before? So this is why it's good to, to save and do it like 10 times, 50 times. And then you save again, so you can roll back your death if you lose it. <coughs> Sorry. And also you want to do about 10, 50 times and make the merge of the dragons because if it's going to be the moon, for example, it's going to start to lag a lot of the the game because of how animated it's, it's the image. And also I did a big mistake on the Midas Infinite X nests. I did fill my map with the nests and then I did all the merges. And when I was, I was going to do the merge with the level 1, uh, Midas Duck, it's, it was taking like 40 seconds to 1 minute to go inside the, the Dragon Book. So don't do it as I did. Make like uh, five, merge, 5 merges of 5, uh, five egg, eggs and then merge the level, level 1 dragons.
It's a good thing that you got the mystery nest theory. I I always go for the mystery nest or eggs instead of going for the only the one kind of eggs. So this way you can work in more than one chain at the same time. When I posted the middle, infinite middle's nest, I I talked only about the level 4. I was not sure if it was going to be possible to do with the level 2, because first time I tried was with the life dragon that I have a random number of eggs inside. So I did teach it with the Midas nest. Let's open another place, space close to here, so we can bring the bone pile. Let me ask that dragon to come over here again, because he's in a empty space over there. And he's probably going to drop it before I, I can put both of the bones in the, the floor, and then he's going to harvest a, a bone and make me lose my bone pile. Yes, Ardy, that's a good thing. You save before you open the chest to be sure that it's going to be exactly the kind of eggs that you want inside. There are some chests that even the price of gems are not are the same. Like for example, 17. Sometimes it can have the green eggs inside or the toadstool. So it's not always going to be the same kind of egg for the chests with the same price. Yes, I also teach it that in the moon, uh, the moon infinite moon X, that I have tried to merge uh, different uh, price of the chest to see if there was any kind of possibility to get even another kind of uh, X, and I also discovered that the one that you move in the others is going to be the one that keeps the object. <clears throat> Sorry. And that's a very good tip because it's very difficult to get sometimes the the chest, for example, the stone chest that costs 30. It's very difficult to get. I got a lot of, got a lot of comments of people asking me if it was really possible to get it and it is possible. So another tip, if you harvest it with a higher level dragon and into a higher level of the dragon tree, it's going to give you more chance to to get better chests and to get more chests also. And sometimes they also harvest the level 2, and if you get the level 2 that costs 60, for example, from the level level 30, uh, for the price of 30, you can also use the, the one that costs 60. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, the chest so sometimes have two kinds of eggs inside. Even if you harvest it from the same, from the, for example, the 
the Dragon 3 and then you get the same price for the chest but it can have two different chest contents they always have the same content you even if you open it and then you roll back your data and then you open it again it's going to be still the the same kind of, of egg inside but other chests can have other kind of eggs and all that I, the tries that I have done, it's never more than two types of eggs that you can get from the the chest. For example, the one that have the moon egg also ha can have the the Midas eggs inside. It's always a good idea, idea to have a good cloud save at the point that you can go back and be sure that your gems that you have spent are not for for a bad thing. So you can roll back your gems, get get your gems back if it's a not so good chest, or also if you want to get a, a jar of some kind of object, or if you uh, if you want to try to get a secret fountain. Or the mysterious idol that also have a low chance to get it when you merge them and get the second chain. chain. Yeah, I am also working at the tribal tribal eggs. I like them, even that they are not so good for harvesting and things like that. They have a very low stamina, but I do like them also. Yes, sir. You can make then the reroll. You can save the to the cloud. It's connect, and then start trying to get the secret fountains. Every time you don't get it, you can roll back. It's if you make a five merge, it's even possible to get two of the life uh, secret life uh, fountain. But if it's already hard to get one of them, imagine getting getting two at the same time. I have done it a few times already. I did got, but I had to reroll, I don't know, maybe more than 50 times. <clears throat> and also the secret fountains, they help a lot when you are working at your flower chain. Almost done filling the map with the bones. That's a good question, Jenny. The Murphy Dragons, they have changed it. They didn't ask us when we played. We played for the, the event, we played for the trophy that was going to give us the Morpho Dragons and they, they changed it for the Jungle Dragons, right? 
So I'm not sure if you also seen there is a level, all the levels that used to have Morpho Dragons, they also change it. There are no more Morpho Dragons, they are now Jungle Dragons or Nila Dragons. They took it out from the levels outside the map, they took it out from the trophy. And they did it when they launched the season where you are, are going to get the Morpho Dragons. So now the season is already over. For it was one behind this one, they should have bring it, brought it back. But we still need to find out a way to, to get them. Because not even in the levels I have found uh, a place that you can buy the Morpho Dragons to bring to the camp. Only way is buying at buy menu in the camp, right? The offer was for real money, uh, Jenny. Yeah, I wouldn't pay for to have uh, the Morpho Dragon since I already have it. Uh, the season that had the other dragons that I didn't have, like the Moth, I think. Was it? And the Chameleon Dragon, I did pay to for the season to have it. But the other dragons that I have, for example, this one that, he, that was the... What's called it? Uh, I forgot the name of this this dragon that they had in the, the season this time. The nat Nature Dragon, dragon I think. Or the Autumn Dragon. Uh, that one I had already, so... For me, it's not a good thing to, to buy the offers. Every time that they are going to offer a season with a new dragon that I don't have, I, I do plan to, to buy it. But for a normal dragon, I don't think it's worth it. Now we have all of your map filled. So let's save to the cloud. I don't remember to get being offered for the to buy the the eggs, but most of the time I don't receive the, the offers. Even that I did already made, uh, I have bought the the all the uh, premium island and also have bought the 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 seasons. I don't get so many offers often. I did not receive from the wonder artifact. I only got it by luck in an event. It was not the offer, it was the, uh, the, the reward. And also the trophy that is a ice, ice cream uh, ice cream place that you can get at, at the trophy objects that uh, I didn't got the offer. I would have bought it because I like to, like to collect all kinds of objects. So let's now make a mass merge with the bones. They did the Morpho Dragon season, I think it was the previous one, Jenny. So now, if you want, anyone is wondering is it worth it to harvest the bones? Is it worth it to merge them? 
so now we are going to get the proof. I always say that it's better to merge all the bones in five. But in this case, I, we are not going to merge in five. We are going to make a mass merge. And after we make the mass merge, we don't have any kind of uh, bubble from the, um, let's call it, the live pro sprout. And after we mer make the mer mass merge, it's going to be a lot of the live flower sprout bubblet because they are not going to have space. So let's make this mass merge over here. Ah, oh no. So this is exactly what I didn't want. And this is also the reason that we make the cloud safe because we don't want this kind of flower and even it's even worse but where are you going guy go away you always want to to stop my trick right again really again are you going to give up yes thank you so <laughs> uh, let's go back to the world map And let's get our data back because we don't want the the level that level of the flower. Let's once disconnect. And this time we can maybe separate some of the, the bones. Let me see. I could make this part over there. And then we can make this part over here. Let's see if it's not going to give us once again the that one. Yes, good. Now let's sell all these jars. Always keep your dragons harvesting. Let me bring the flowers that we have over there. Here we have some of the live flower sprouts. Let me bring this bone pile closer to me. So let's move this. Let's open this also. Let's make another mass merge over here. It's okay to to get now only one of that kind of flower because our objective now is going to be to to have from the twin life flower. Of course, it's always better to to have two at final to have each time more flowers, but we are going to have way more flowers when we, we reach the other bone piles and we have more space up the map. Now I will move this over here and this over here because I don't want the, the trees spawning more of the this kind of object that I forgot the name. Live flower sprouts is always I always forget the name. At least actually we could get one more, so we can merge with this. Let me move this bone over there. Here we've got the cloud key, so we can now open also to see what's behind that cloud key. This is another capsule that we can exploit. Mm. 
Let's open more space. Let me move this one, there is going to be the same kind of depth. Let's also move this over here to open more space. Let me catch up with the chat. Let me see what is it over there. Uh, this season, uh, this season that we just had now was the autumn one, but before that was the morpho one. We start moving these objects over there so we can. Where are you going? At the bone pie, right? No, you're not. Stop doing that. There are so many things to harvest like 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 different flowers at least. And you want to get the bone pile. The only thing that I don't want, to, don't want you to, to harvest, right? Let me check. This one could be harvested if I had more of the the other thing. So since we don't have it, I will just make this tree merge, and then we can. <laughs> now you gave me more of the. Okay. So let's do this five merge. Let me see what else, we need one of the blue light flower. Let me move this out before it makes a chain merge. Now we can make this pipe merge. Let's trash this one. Oh, we have another light flower sprouts over there. Let's see the next quest. And you guys can see that I didn't even try to to make the quest and we got it. So it's very easy to, to get it, you don't need to worry. And the quest now is going to be create a hurt rose. It's going to be, let's see what level object. Hurt rose, the level 7 object. Also it's going to be very easy to get it. And be sure to get it before you reach the the object that is going to ask ask to be harvested 75 times. That is going to be a two by one. This one. You always need to get that object before you uh, five of that object before you do the harvest of that. Let me see. Here we've got. So let's just make this merge. Mm, let me check what else we can do now. <laughs> I always talk to my dragons and especially when they are doing something that I don't want them to do like harvest the bone piles the only thing that i don't want them to do they go there and do it it's like a child don't do that and they want to do that so now i am preparing to start harvesting this flower 
I will be able to make a mass merge with that and start harvesting it. So, let's do it. Let's make these five merges. Let's bring the other flower. If you are going to do a uh, passive harvesting, you want always to bubble your flowers and the lower level flowers before you merge them. Since I'm going to do only active farming, I don't, don't need to, to bubble them. Let me move these flowers over there. So let's see how fast it can be done from one dragon and another one. They almost took the same time to harvest the same object. And if you try it with the same one, you can see that you can harvest three times faster, even more, because the, this dragon is very slow. So imagine if you ask this dra the different dragon. Let's make this one harvest this and this one. There is going to be even a bigger difference. Let me catch with the chat again. Let me see. Are the harvest? Yes, yeah, sorry. I think the the live stream will be automatically added to to my channel. I never done it before. This is my first live stream, so. I'm not sure, but if there is an option to do that, I will put it to to be able to watch again. Yes, indeed, that's a really nice tip. If you don't want your dragons to to harvest something, you just need to keep it selected and the dragons won't harvest. For example, let's see what this dragon is going to harvest and I will uh, keep it selected and you guys are going to see that it, he won't harvest. This one, so he is not going to harvest. See? Now he is going to other object to harvest. This also works if you have already healed by mistake some of uh, or merge it one of the the passion trees that is going to be harvest for for what's called the game points and you can select it and they won't harvest. can do anything else before uh, before uh, and then only harvesting this one I don't want to have in the middle I could do, could be doing some other merges but for now let's make some mass merges oh the uh, the story rolls you can do the reroll for the stars to get the the chests, but for me the chests are worth only for points, and 
it's better to do the infinite rewards with the golden capsule. The golden capsule gives you level five point uh, level five point objects only. So I don't do the the chest trick anymore, but you will, for sure you can do it. I cannot say it's safe to merge three of the the bricks, Diane, but I can say that the game always try to prevent you to do some kind of mistake, you know. There are not many maps that you can make a mistake by three merging, that there is not going to be one extra of the object called key. So it's better to first take a look if it's safe, make a five merge. I only make a 5 merge uh, without knowing if there is going to be a cloud, cloud key, if there is 6 of the same kind of object. Let me check if you merge the bricks, let's see if they are going to have them here. You don't have bricks over here, so it's better to, to know first if it's not going to be a cloud key for that. Let me see. There is the vase, higher level flower, the larger one, another one, this one is going to be from the cheese and zombies that you you kill. Let me finish filling the map so I can show the star reroll. I will just reroll it to show that you can get different kind of objects. I'm not going to reroll until we get shelves. Now we have them all with objects, let's try the reroll of the star. So first thing, you go all, uh, again to the world map, your saver cloud. Let's upload our data right now. Let's force the cloud save. Always be sure that your your cloud get a green OK because or else you are not going to have your data saved. And if you try to roll back, you're going to roll back way before the last this one that you thought you saved it. Now let's disconnect. And let's do it two times, three times to to see what we can get in the first times of the reroll of the chest. The not the chest, the the star. So let's take these two. Let's see two objects. So we've got uh, level one, a uh, level one tiny orb. We got. Uh, We've got a level 3 object and a life, pli life flower sprout. Let's reroll it. Let's reroll two objects. You can do it with one object, of course. And the star cannot be used as, a, as an infinite reward. Let's retrieve the data.
let's once again disconnect don't forget to disconnect so you don't lose your your next step you know so let's see what we can get now now we've got a uh, life orb level 3 and a uh, hurt charm that is the to be a one object object to have points let's do it once again And this is going to be the last time that I do these rivals, so you guys can see the different kinds of objects. Let's hope I can get the, the chest. Connect and let's see for the last time what we can get. Now, this time we've got two of the lovely gifts, so we can get chests and we can get a lot of things. Let me see if we don't have one chest over here. And we have one, but it's over there, it's a level one. The level 1, if I'm not mistaken, can also be used for infinite rewards, but the rewards inside are uh, not so good as the level 2. So let me get back my data, because I don't want to, to use that space. Now the objective in the, the event is to reach maybe if it's possible two of the last level of the the arm the life orb of heavens but if you can if you can reach one of the life orb of heavens you can get a lot of the the bone piles and you can reach for higher level flower for example the Level 7, it's a very good one to have, if you are also going to do a passive harvesting. And if you go further than that, level 8 is going to start giving you uh, another kind of flowers, another kind of coins, and sometimes lower, uh, lower orbs. And also it's, very, it's not very fast to harvest it, but of course it's going to give you a better life form. But if you can reach for the level 9, I'm not sure if this worth the time to reach over there so I would recommend to stay at level 7 or if you really want to you can go to, to the level 8 I also like to finish the the quest for harvesting the twin life flowers over here because the the star is going to be bubble it's going to get less space in the map the more space you can have at the map better more 35 times and another thing that I'd like to do is like uh, let's call it uh, a chain build you know I always harvest a lot of the uh, life essence and then I go merging and popping all the the bubbles for me I think it's faster to, to do that than Harvest, fill the map, and merge, and start harvesting again. Because this way I know that the dragons are not moving. Yes, Lupi. 
Exactly. Everything in the same place. So let's check in a second what's going to be the next quest. Probably it's going to be to harvest from the dead plants. The events are pretty much always the same. So we've got the star. Let's see where did it go. Here. Here the other star. It's not going to stay in the map. And someone already asked me how did I got the star bubble? So this is how. Let's see the next quest. Harvest from dead plants 75 times. So our objective now is do that. And I'm going to harvest a lot of live orbs. Uh, probably after the first time that I make a mass merge, I'm going to see if I can reach another part of the map with the the healing essence that we got from the chain merge so i'm not sure if you guys want to see me only doing the, this kind of harvesting if i stop the live streaming now and then after i get uh, two of the live rubber of heavens i can stream again for you guys probably tomorrow because I don't think that it's worth to start a stream in the, I don't know, maybe three hours. <laughs> maybe uh, everyone wants to take a rest and do something. Thanks, PG. So what do you guys think? Do we stop this live stream now and we start it tomorrow again? Probably not in the afternoon, but we can do something in the morning. Um, and then we can do another part in the, the afternoon, make a stream in the morning for one hour and then another one hour and a half to two hours in the, the afternoon. Sorry. Sounds good. So I want to really thank everyone for coming for my live stream. This is the first time. I for sure I will be better each time. So after half an hour I was able to start reading the chat and also playing the game. And let's hope that each time I can cheer you guys more, that we can engage more. And any kind of questions that we have, you have, you can ask me if we, even if not from the event. It's not really because I'm tired, it's because the thing that I'm going to do now is going to you only harvest this flower for about one hour, one hour and a half, because I like to do this. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and if you enjoy it, if you it's your first time, you are not subscriber, subscribe, hit the like button, I will place many other tips. In the end of the, the event, I will show how to do the golden capsule trick that you can reach for the level 10 objects in, I don't know, maybe less than 30 minutes. Okay? So, thank you everyone for joining. See you guys in probably about 12 hours. Okay? Thanks everyone. Thanks Diane, Sale, Cindy, Top Chick, Janet. Diane, Cindy, Sarah, Laura, of course, for helping with the exploit trick, Carol, Never the Rose. Who else is there? Tell me that I'm going to give you a big shout for being on my stream. Thanks, everyone. Really means a lot for me. And don't forget to join our Discord channel. Janet, if you can put the link in the description, uh, the link in the chat, 
I also have the link in the description. Join our, our Discord channel. Before I post any kind of video of the tricks, I always post it over there in the Discord. Thanks, Janet. Thanks, Latonia Daniel. <laughs> I hope I have said right your name. Thanks, Terry. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Bye-bye.